In general, in cities, there are three important types of water sources. One is bore water, other are well water and metro water. Out of three source, metro water comes with high amount of bacterial contamination, bad odor like sewage water, as it comes from the reservoir animals might have been fallen inside and died too. That same water comes up with mixing of chlorine for usage to cities. Even though if there is any leakage or hole in the surrounded sewage pipeline, there is a chance that your water will get mixed with sewage. In some places, metro water usually comes with bad smell. Despite of this, there is a chance of sewage mixing in both bore and well water. If sewage water pipeline running around your house, that leakage from that sewage pipe will end up mixing in your water and results in black color water with bad odor and sewage smell. To drive this problem, there exists a separate unique method. To find out the reason behind the bad smell exist in the water. We need to test the water to examine the growth of bacteria and its speed of bacterial growth and also the oxygen demand in water. After examining the report, we able to determine a right solution to remove the black color along with bad smell. Today, we are here at one of our customers' house backspace. Here well water is their main source of water and also both the owner and the tenant are doctors. They both have a separate motors to pump the water from the well to their overhead tanks. Here, the main issue they are facing is bad smell in the water. That's the first reason why they called us. Here, we can see that they already using some other brand's treatment system to eliminate the smell. That's a UV system, and there is a two prefiltration system of a 3M brand back and forth. But after installing this system, same bad smell exists and now the bad smell is heavy than before because the prefiltration system that they have installed is to remove the sediments impurities which will not remove the material contamination. As the water enters the prefiltration system all the bad contaminants get stagnant here in this filter. Hence, the smell gets much worse than the raw water. So we can realize that this system doesn't able to eliminate the bad smell and this is not the proper method to handle this bad odor slash sewage mixing problem. To solve this problem, they reached us. So, we installed our customized system to remove the bad odor. Here we installed two separate motors for the two separate buildings and overhead tanks. This left side motor sucks the water from well and passes it to the house owner's overhead tank and this right side motor from the well and passes it to the tenant's overhead tank. These two motors have separate EB connection so that there is no confusion during EB bill calculation. Since they asked us to install the common filtration system, system which connect both the motors for both the houses. We did the technical works along with the pluming line. For the owner house motor sucks the water from the well by this suction point and deliver the water to the aeration tank. Here we can see in this aeration tank the water which gets collected is gray in color. Here we take the line half feet above the aeration tank and the water pumped through the new half HP motor and then it goes to the water treatment system. But before entering into to the water treatment system. The ozonation process was occurred in the aeration tank itself which helps to kill the bacteria present in the water. And these two water filters remove the settled sediments in the aeration tank. After the ozonation process and release the pure water to the output line which has been connected to the existing input line where we get the water for the aeration process and then it leads this treated water to the overhead tank. Instead of this old motor, we we deploy this new half HP motor for the owner. If they switch on this motor, this allow the water to go to the overhead tank from the aeration tank. Also, for the tenant, we close the old motor line which passes the water from the well and we set the line from the aeration tank. By that, it will only suck the treated water from the aeration tank after undergoes the treatment process by the suction point. But, before the water headed to the overhead tank, we set the valve to deposit 
deposit the ozonated water from the aeration tank to the water filter system by interconnection. And also we seal the pipe which leads the way to the half HP motor. From that treated water do not go backwards but only to the water filters. Then again, that treated water passes through the output line to the tenant overhead tank after setting the pipe after the middle valve. Position this way. So, we can clearly see that both the system are separated. Now, we used the ozonation process in the aeration tank and this ozonator plays a major role in this entire process by killing the bacteria and helps to remove the sewage smell. This ozonator diffused the oxygen from the air and then break the oxygen molecules which kills the bacteria and removes the bad smell. This bacteria elimination process is done by the ozonation. This is the ozonation process tube which provides a very strong air bubbles and remove the bacteria contamination quickly. By generating this artificial oxygen, this kills the bacteria in aerated water. Both the ozonator and the water treatment system is fully automatic so there is no need to switch on or off the equipment manually. The full process will perform on the basis of the timing sensor which we set during installation. After the complete process, we will get smell-free water, crystal clear water. Now, I can demonstrate this treated water which looks crystal clear and without the trace of black water. You can compare these aeration tank water which looks black and the treated water which looks like crystal clear. This grayish brown color water becomes this crystal clear water by undergoing the ozonation and water treatment plant process, which eliminates the bacteria, smell, iron, and changes the color for the usage in our homes.